Hey everyone, Mr. Sujano here. In this video, we're taking a look at the Steam Deck and determining whether or not you can use it as an everyday PC. Let's get started. All right, to kick things off, it's absolutely no secret that ever since its launch, the Steam Deck has been a very hot ticket item. There are three different versions of the Steam Deck, ranging from $400 to $650. Now, in terms of tech specs, in my opinion, all three of these share the exact same tech specs where it matters most. They all have the same CPU, GPU, and RAM. Where they differ is in terms of overall storage, and the top tier version also gets a better screen. So the cheapest version, the $400 version, has 64 gigs of eMMC storage for your hard drive or solid state drive, your main storage device. The mid-tier version, the $529 version, has 256 gigs of NVMe storage, which is a little bit faster. And the top tier version has 512 gigs of NVMe storage. And for the record here, it's worth pointing out, if you're tech savvy, all three versions you can open up, upgrade the storage or replace the storage as you see fit. And all three versions, you can also expand the storage just with a micro SD card. So in terms of your processing power and graphics processing power, the Steam Deck uses a custom AMD APU. And in terms of RAM, it's got 16 gigs of DDR5. Now the Steam Deck's display, although it looks nice, is a little on the small side. It's a 7-inch display overall. But the Steam Deck also has Bluetooth, Wi-Fi, it's powered by USB-C. And that USB-C port also doubles as a port that you can use to plug in a USB-C hub or other devices. And fortunately, at some point in time, Steam will be releasing an official dock where you can use it to connect external displays, USB devices, and power. Although this Steam Deck looks like a gaming device and was primarily designed to be a gaming device, underneath its shell, it's basically just a computer. I have the cheapest model of the Steam Deck, the $399 version and I've been using it as a computer this entire summer. In fact, this entire video, including recording, editing, and posting, is being powered by the Steam Deck. And I've used the Steam Deck multiple times for multiple videos on this YouTube channel. It's a very handy device. Now, the default operating system on the Steam Deck is Linux, and the Steam Deck can run Windows if you'd like, but I'd highly recommend against it. The version of Linux on the Steam Deck is very lightweight, it's easy to run, and doesn't take a lot of resources. You can use those extra resources to do stuff you want. Opening up documents, viewing videos, creating, editing, and posting videos, or even playing games. I think one of the biggest hurdles a lot of people would have trying to use the Steam Deck as an everyday PC is the fact that it uses a version of Linux. It may not have the same programs as Windows that you're used to. The programs might work a little bit different. And if you're used to Windows, there will be a learning curve to figure out how everything works on Linux. On the other hand though, SteamOS is pretty user friendly and it wouldn't be that big of a learning curve overall. On top of that, installing applications on Steam is extremely simple. In desktop mode, all you have to do is open up the application manager, choose what you want to install, and install it. If you've ever used Linux before, you'll be right at home on SteamOS. And if you're used to Windows and looking for something, I don't know, like Microsoft Office, well, there are equivalents that are 100% free. Now, in terms of raw performance and processing power, this is where things get a little bit interesting. If you're replacing a prime PC, something that costs a couple of thousand dollars and that's not outdated, with the Steam Deck, well, the PC's probably going to leave the Steam Deck in the dust. However, if you're looking for a gaming device and trying to get the best value for your dollar, this is where the Steam Deck becomes incredibly attractive. At 400 bucks, it's compatible with, well, part of the Steam library at the very least. It's designed for gaming, and it can handle day-to-day -day computing uses. I mean, at this point in time, I have Firefox up and running. I have Google Chrome up and running playing a video from my channel. And I'm also recording. I'm using a webcam. I've got a microphone plugged in. And at this point in time, I'm not even maxing out the CPU yet. Yes, it's incredibly close to being maxed out. But at the same time, it's not throttling just yet. It's not at 100%, and my memory, my RAM here, is incredibly low. I'm only using about 4.5 gigs. And watch what happens here as soon as I close Firefox. So I do have multiple browsers up and running. As soon as I close Firefox, the CPU usage drops significantly. Chrome is performing, I would say, very well. 
And if you're taking a look at the video, it is still playing back very well. It's running at 1080p 60 frames a second and I'm recording at 1080p 60 frames a second. So after my experiences of using the Steam Deck as a laptop for the entire summer to answer the question of whether or not the Steam Deck can be used as a daily driver PC in addition to being a gaming device, the answer here is yes and no. No on its own if you're trying to use the Steam Deck and the Steam Deck alone without any Bluetooth mice or keyboards and just use the Steam Deck as a handheld device that also serves as a computer? The answer is absolutely not. It's clunky, it's not practical at all, and you will get frustrated. However, if you're willing to pick up a few accessories to really complement the Steam Deck and your PC requirements aren't necessarily over the top, you're used to low to mid-range PCs, then absolutely yes. For example, this is the USB-C hub that I use, and I use this one in specific because it has a power pass-through so I can charge the Steam Deck as I'm using it while also using this as a USB-C hub. I don't have to worry about the battery draining. I mean, on the Steam Deck, battery life will vary. The more you're using the system, well, the more the battery is gonna drain. And by having a USB-C hub with a power pass-through, I don't have to worry about it. I mean, on the road, I use a portable battery bank and that really helps keep the battery life up on my Steam Deck and I don't have to worry about running out of juice. On top of that, at the very least here, I'd recommend a Bluetooth mouse and keyboard. I mean, trying to use the digital keyboard on the Steam Deck is frustrating, not practical, and well, it's gonna slow you down considerably. And the built-in mice on the Steam Deck, that's not the best solution overall, and actual mouse is probably the better way to go. And like this image here, it's probably worthwhile to invest in a secondary monitor. I mean, I'm currently using one on my Steam Deck. I don't use one all the time, but working on a 7-inch screen on the Steam Deck can be incredibly difficult. It's possible. It's not necessarily the most practical or the most enjoyable. So with all of that being said, I've been very happy with this Steam Deck. I've been using it as a laptop for this summer. It's the base version of the Steam Deck. All I did was upgrade the storage with a micro SD card and well, attach a whole bunch of peripherals to it via USB-C and Bluetooth. Now, if you're not into gaming, I wouldn't recommend the Steam Deck at all. Just go on ahead and pick up a laptop or something like that. It'll be easier and less frustrating for you. But if you are into gaming, into handheld gaming, and you've got a decent Steam library, or you like to emulate a whole bunch, and you're thinking about one device to try to rule it all, well, the Steam Deck might be the way to go. You can do this on a budget and hopefully be happy with it. So at the end of the day here, yes, you can use the Steam Deck as a PC. In fact, I've recorded, edited, uploaded this video all on the Steam Deck. It's possible. It might not be the most optimal solution for you, but if you're on a budget and want one device to try to do it all, the Steam Deck might be worth checking out. Anyways, that is all I've got for you in this one. Straight to the point, all stuff and no fluff. Let me know your thoughts about the Steam Deck in the comments below. If you like this video, leave a like. If you didn't like this video, leave a like. Hit that subscribe button, check out my other videos. Don't tempt fate, save your state.